B. Moffat. Oh, how do you do? I'm um, Chris Dexter. <clears throat> Burke. Pardon? That's my name, Edmund Burke. <laughs> Gets everyone first time now. Please, have a seat. Cosmo Dexter's dad. And I'm Sylvia's mother. Yes. Mrs. Moffat, Mr. Dexter, Mr. Dexter, Mrs. Moffat. That's our model village. 2001 display. Oh. Made from egg cartons. Oh, it's extraordinary. <laughs> and I'm glad to see our kids aren't uh, wasting their time. Yes, quite. Now, I would like to talk to you both about your children. Why? What has Sylvia done? Nothing. What am I doing here, then? Ever. She never does anything, ever, in my class, homework, anywhere. But that's not what we're here to talk about. Y your daughter ha ha has been pestering my son. Don't be stupid. And she's been hitting him. Rubbish. I, I, I've got to take some of the blame, I suppose, because I've always said to Cosmo that he must never, ever, whatever the provocation, strike a female. Even Sylvia, even in, in retaliation. What nonsense. If a girl has been bashing your son, and I'm not for a moment saying that Sylvia has, tell him to bash back and fight his own battles. Oh, no, we don't believe in fighting, thank you. Uh, we don't even know if there was a fight. There are other ways of um, working off aggression. Well, a physical one, anyway. Oh, no? Then why has his son been attacking my daughter? That's, that's not true. I don't have the time to argue with you. I've got to get back to my office. But so have I. I am a very busy woman. I'm, I've got an important meeting. I'm just Bye. as busy as you are. But you have an important meeting right now. Hello. Remember me? Yes. I'm still here. Please, Mrs. Moffat, take a seat. Thank you. Now, I don't know who hit whom, or indeed if anyone did get hit, but what I do know is this, that this is my class, and by my rules, nobody fights with anybody. And the same, preferably, goes for the parents. <laughs> I don't get any uh, danger money, you know, or overtime. No, of course you don't. No, no of course you don't. Now, we all know one thing is clear. Your kids have been scrapping, so why don't you, as parents, see if you can take the ti precious time to find the cause and straighten the whole thing out. And then I can teach, you can parent, and the world will be a safer place. <clears throat> Your turn. Yes, well, of course you're right. I do agree with you. Naturally, our children come first. Oh, naturally, I... Our children come first. Well, I'm glad to hear it. Good heavens, is that the time? I'm afraid I've got another appointment with the headmaster, but I won't be long. Please, you stay and use my classroom. Have a chat. There's no extra charge. Thank you. We do appreciate that. Yes, we, we'd appreciate that. Good. Now, uh, it is safe to leave you two alone, isn't it? Yes, I should think so. Yes. Good. I do so hate mopping bloodstains off the blackboard. <laughs> what, what, what do you mean, safe? Well, you know, like mother, like daughter.
Now, this is very silly, isn't it? After all, if we can't take the time to get along, how can we expect Cosmo and Sylvia to? How indeed? It's a pretty name, that. What is? Sylvia. Oh, yes. Yes. Yes, I'd always wanted to name a daughter after Sylvia Pankhurst. One of the first women suffragettes. So I did. Uh, and what if it had been a boy? I wasn't going to have a boy. Cosmo is rather an unusual name. It's... Well, it's very different. Masculine. I wouldn't quite have said that. It's from the Greek, cosmos, which means uh, order, harmony, universe. Those traits aren't specifically masculine. Oh, no. N and Cosmo could have used some of them yesterday. Yes. <laughs> Just think, all this... This has come about over... over a little note. Yes. <laughs> it was very silly of Cosmo to pass it. Cosmo? He could have got Sylvia into very serious trouble. No, no excuse me. I think, you, I think you've got it wrong. No, it, I it, have. It, it, it was Sylvia who passed the note to Cosmo. No, it couldn't. Oh, have oh yes, been. it was. No, it yes, wasn't. it was. No, it wasn't. Sylvia would have no reason to pass a note to Cosmo. She doesn't even like boys. <laughs> oh, yes, she does. If you ask me, I, I think she's, she's got a crush on Cosmo. <laughs> no, she doesn't. Oh, yes, she has. No, she hasn't. Yes, she does. No, she hasn't. You men are all alike. Just because a female is bright, attractive, and shows some friendly interest, you think she's after you. If you really want to know, it is your little Cosmo who is after my Sylvia. Oh, no, no. To tell you the truth, I don't think he's uh, discovered girls yet. Pull the other one. He still calls our dog Harold. <laughs> and that... And, and that was after she'd had her, her babies. <laughs> then he takes after his father in quickness. And I can see where Sylvia gets her, her aggressiveness from. And I can see where Cosmo gets his dullness from. How dare you? How dare you? Oh, waiting for Daddy, are we? Can't you find your own way home? Is your mother afraid that you'll mug someone if you're let out on your oh, own? Very funny. Come to hide behind your father's skirts, have you? My father doesn't wear... Oh, doesn't he? How dare you talk about my father well, like why that? Why not? It's true, no it? manners I at have all. Got I have say, I've Dexter, got... can any homicidal maniac join in? Oh, go away. Oi, what's it, Dexter? Think... Dexter Wallbanger Dexter, is it? Versus Sylvia Killer Moffat, oh. known to mutilate. When we told you walking stick, Wallbanger. Just very get funny. off. I don't know why you're always making trouble. We don't have to go starting all this for, anyway. Yes, why? Well, just get lost, Hudson. And what did you want to hit me for? If you wanted to hit someone, why didn't you hit him? Because I don't like him, microbrain. I like you. You do? You do? I do. Do you, Sylvia Moffat? <laughs> oh, dear, off. Get lost. Home, home, Dexter. Look, I've been awfully stupid about all this. I didn't mean to lose my temper before. No, no, I'm sorry. When you're right, you're right. Oh, I shouldn't have said those terrible things about your dad. Oh, they weren't terrible. They're quite funny, really, when you think about it. My father wearing a skirt. No, I am sorry. I should have taken the note. No, and I shouldn't have called you four eyes and goggle face because you're not... I should have read it. I didn't mean to show you up in front of the rest of the class. You didn't show me up. It was entirely my fault. I lost my temper. And if Bert does give us detention, I'll do it all, I promise. I wouldn't dream of it. Look, will you stop being so nice? And let me take the blame. It was my fault. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. Sylvia, it wasn't. Cosmo, it was. Sylvia, it wasn't. Cosmo, it was. No, why can't you why admit that it was my, it was my fault? fault. Truth. Truth. <laughs> We'd better go and stop the big fight. 
I was, told you I, I, to no, wait no, outside. No, no, but Ma, we've been run, out there for ages. Run along now, Cosmo. Look, there's a good sausage. Mrs. Moffat and I are just having this nice little chat. A nice little it was, chat? It was, what are you talking no, 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 about? No, 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 it's all right please, now. Please, please, Cosmo. We're just beginning to work things out. Work things out? We are no further forward than when we started, oh, no. thanks to you. Please knock in front of the children. Look, there's no need for all this. No, we Cosmo, I quite agree. None of this need ever have happened in the first but, place. Ma, but why don't you just no. let Cosmo speak? Please. You never let anybody speak. You never listen. No, 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 please, mm. please, Cosmo, run along. Good sausage, please. Dad, will you please stop calling me sausage? And why do you talk to him like that? He's not a baby. Exactly. Don't tell me how to talk to my own son, young lady. I don't know how to talk to, to my daughter like that. Don't talk to my daughter no, well, like that. I was that. only talking to I'm not going to be told it's how to talk settled. to me. No, it is not all settled. I uh, still have some things that I want I, to say. I, I, I. Self, self, self. That's all I've heard all afternoon. Well, it is better than the blabber I've had to but listen to. Blabber? Wait, wait, this is not what to do with you. So that's why you passed me the note. Yeah, I just wanted to know, would you come and meet the disco tonight? Yeah, great. <laughs> I, hear, I hear they've had a new plate glass window put in. Oh, the one Ferguson broke? <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry about before. Sorry? Don't give it a second thought. It's already forgotten. <laughs> Friends. Friends. I suppose it was you who taught your daughter to call my son for four eyes and, 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 and goggle face. Oh, shut up. Was it you who taught Cosmo to tell girls that they pong? What? That is what your son told my daughter. <sighs> How dare you? How dare I of what? All they have. Fence. Oh, no, 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 I, I've got I this might have cold. expected I, I, something as low from you and yours. Me and my what? Don't you dare come well, here. You... Oh! oh! You pushed me! I, I didn't touch you. You did, you I, pushed me! I didn't, I... You're nothing I'm but a chauvinist bitch. I didn't push you if you were a last feminist extremist of life. What, what are you doing? Liberated women! Oh, oh. What on earth is that? What have you and your family got against my wall? All sorts every day, some battles are fought, but it's hard to say who's more fraught. Those who teach are those who are taught. Pull it for you, pull it for me. I hope I'm through. 